Good morning. Welcome to uh, the 2000. I mean, what is it? <laughs> the September 3rd, 2016 edition of Coffee with the Rocket Man. Or obviously, you can look at me and tell I keep it real. I slept in this morning. It sure felt good, except for my bad neck. Uh, you know, it's rough getting older. You know what today kind of officially is for me? The beginning of what I call full-blown football season. This is where college season kicks in with a vengeance. This is where these boys, for the most part, are playing for the fun of it and not money. I love it. This is this is uh there's just something about college football that that uh it's just more exciting than professional football. You know, I love high school football. I love it when when, when people are, are, it's a game. First of all, it's a game. And you play games for fun, you know. You play games for fun. Uh, if you can make a living, I guess, playing a game, that that's fine. That's also okay. Uh, they can't make too good of a living. They make way too much money to play ball. But that's another story for another day. Football, this is also the time of year. College football, also the time of year every year I have to, I have to make up with and forgive less miles. Let us not forget. That he is a Yankee. And he just doesn't know any better. But he aggravates me. He's a recruiter. There's no doubt about it. The man can recruit. But when it comes to coaching, golly, man. That's why we can't win the big one. That's why LSU can't win the big one. Because in a big game, you got to have some coaching out there, too. Yeah, anyhow, where he lost me was the Jordan Jefferson debacle. I get nauseated and aggravated and generally ticked off every time I think about it. You 7-0, 8-0, you're beating the fire out of everybody. You got a quarterback that's been leading you to that. You got Jefferson sitting on the bench because he's a hoodlum. You got one, this quarterback you've been playing drives the ball down to about the one yard line and you run Jordan Jefferson in there to score the touchdown. I have never got over that. And that is why every year I have to try my best to forgive less miles. It makes my blood pressure go up every time I think about it. And then some of the other stuff he's done, my goodness gracious. First and foremost, if you're recruiting all these great receivers, you do not need a dual-threat quarterback. You need somebody to drop back in the pocket and pass that thing because you've got Leonard Fournette and some other hosses in the backfield. That's all I'm going to say about him. That's all I'm going to say about him. Oh, God. Okay. You, I'm, I'm, this is going to be short this morning. I, I got to tell you a story I saw real quick that's funny. 